Yes, sir. My name is Akashi, guys, and in this video here, we're going to be having a discussion about tag units. Now, in this festival alone, we've got two tag units, but in the game, I believe there's five. We have Super Saiyan Blue, Goku, and Vegeta, who are the first ever tag unit, and they were amazing. I think the second ones we got were um, Gohan and the Trunks, the EX. But then I think at the same time, we actually got Android 17 and 18. So they were like the second and third together. Um, in this festival, we got two more. And those two being Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta. And we also have... Uh, damn! <laughs> Trunks and Vegeta. Super Saiyan 2, uh, Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue, Vegeta. And that would make the total five. And with them being released, we've only got five. It's not a lot. But at the same time, it kind of feels like... Again, repetitive. I don't know if it's just me, but I wanted to proper dive into the subject of these tag units because I feel like they have a similar effect with how we feel about the ultra units. But we'll, we'll get into it, and I'll I'll tell you what I mean. So hopefully, you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you haven't already, make sure to press that subscribe button. We are on this grind to thirty thousand subscribers. All my social media links are going to be on the bottom of the screen. This is the YouTube channel we've got: a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. We're trying to get to thirty-five subscribe, thirty-five k subscribers by the end of the year. 40k is the actual goal though so if you're new here you know what to do here press that red button i want to also point out that i live stream every single day so if you see me live tap into the live stream 9 p.m to 11 p.m gmt and on the weekends it's double most times so um yeah view about was on friday as well most fridays so it could be this friday so definitely be sure to tap in especially on friday but yeah uh we're heading into the christmas season so yeah have a good christmas my phone's going off let's get into this video now <laughs> Alright, so I feel like it's a good idea to start with Blue Bros because literally they were the first ever tag unit that we saw in Dragon Ball Legends and their reveal was just phenomenal. Everybody loved it, 100%. Uh, the tag units they come with, obviously, the effect to reverse their elements. So we've got the purple here, which are usually type disadvantage to yellows and they would actually be type advantage to green. But if they tag switch, so Goku's the first one and then he tag switch to Vegeta, Vegeta would be strong against yellows and weak against greens which is the reverse it's not necessarily an element switch which they could actually make it that but they don't it's literally just a reverse of what the case would be with purple so that's to be kept in mind all the elements like no matter what tag unit we've got we've got the android 17 and 18 red uh type advantage against yellow weak against blues the reverse strong against blues weak against yellows they all do that similar thing we have two green ones with super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta being one obviously strong against blues weak against purple and then the reverse is the opposite way obviously we have the um the green ex's over here i'm actually working on 14 star in them they're quite neat uh same thing and then we have the trunks and vegeta which are yellow they're the newest addition to the game now they all kind of come with like this similar like weak as blue card animation but it leads into their ultimate the blue cards aren't even like especially bad but they seem very simple because it's meant to be like a build-up to the actual uh lf legends limited legendary finished animation that we see of all of them but besides from the ex because obviously they're not a um they're not a uh legend limited character well all the other ones that we've got are literally only legend limited characters so it just makes to me seem makes it seem like okay the more we get the more they're going to have a similar copy and paste format. They come with like similar things of like gaining health every time they tag switch. The kits are basically copy and pastes for the most part. With slight tweaks here and there, they subtract bits in certain places, add bits in certain places, and it actually makes them better or worse. In this case, we saw Trunks and Vegeta are not as good as maybe the Androids when they came out. And then we also see Goku and Vegeta, who because we was expecting something very, very large, like a fusing tag unit, they seemed very very bland and even the EXs at that point when we got Gohan and Trucks they came out 17 18 at the same time so it's like they're just flooding it in so we have a lot of variation considering that we only have like let's say three type of units in the game we have regular units probably more than that but I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mention what I have on mind we have regular units they're just units that come by themselves we have the assist units like Goku Black and Zamasu over here um there's not really anything special about the assist besides from the fact they just make a cameo within the animations it doesn't actually come with an extra mechanic it's literally just two units in one and it's the same thing as if you had an individual unit you've got transforming units like the new kaoken well not the new kaoken the old kaoken who's getting a zenkai so he's going to become new he literally just transforms um 
I guess if you want to count uh, count them as one, we got revival units who literally when they die, they come back as a new unit. And then of course we got these tag units. I think that touches on every single type of unit that we got, unless you want to go into extra specifics of timed mechanics and whatnot. And it just makes me think that if they're just going to keep releasing tag units, is there anything else they can do? Are they going to do triple tag units? I feel like that's going to be just as boring besides that it would just be more. They were just like, I don't know. I could see them doing like a uh, Goku, Vegeta and Trunks tag unit from the future. I could see them doing a the trio the danger from uh the tournament of power but i don't feel like that would be con like interesting it's literally just repeating the same process over and over again with bergamo speaking of the trio the danger um where is he where is he where is he with the, with his ultimate arts yeah we already have that 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 animation i'm pretty sure he's red there he is he really have that animation where all the dogs come together and based on his kit based on his kit he does more damage at, i think if he's being run with them um or the other ones do i'm not don't correct me on that don't don't quote me on that yeah it's battle members just specifically battle members cool uh yeah they could they probably just make this into a tag unit triple tag unit and then have them do the ultimate arts but as an lf it's like they're recycling things and i feel like that's gonna get stale real fast maybe that's just my opinion but um we've already felt it i feel like with how the underwhelming these new tag units that we got in the festival have been but um that's my overall like breakdown on them going into the future. I feel like it's going to be a copy pasta every single time. Slight changes in the kit, but they all need to have a similar format because simply every time they tag switch, um, they don't have an ultimate art, so they're lacking in that certain aspect. They're going to need something else to make up for it. So um, that's just my take on that. Let me know what you guys think. This video isn't meant to be too long, but I will touch on one more point just before I end the video. Now... Currently, we already have three Legends Limited characters that are tag units um, that are literally <laughs> Vegeta's. They, they, three of them have Vegeta's. We've got Trunks and Vegeta uh, over here. We've got Goku and Vegeta over here. And we've got another Goku and Vegeta here. And going forward, I already said that it's going to get a bit stale. But another reason why it will get very stale is based on what options they have. We literally be getting continuous Goku's and Vegeta's. I don't see us getting many other variations and even if we do would there be a lot of source material for it we've already got the biggest duo i think would be the blue bros from the broly movie i'm thinking about other scenarios i know um in the uh i forgot what the movie's called but the movie with fusion uh 13 trunks is in that movie that could be a trio tag unit there, there's there's not it doesn't feel like there's a lot of source material and even if there is it'll just be a variation of characters we already had and i feel like that's the biggest downer for why tag units will get are gonna get boring very fast if they're not boring already if you can name a tag unit that would be actually interesting as a legend limited value character that would actually be um that would have a decent amount of source material and that people would actually look forward to let me know because i don't think there is many others it's literally just a bunch of goku and vegetas and they'd literally just be copy and pasting over and over again and i guess they already do that with other characters i know but tag units have such a similar format that i wouldn't want too many of them and that's the last thing i wanted to talk about but yeah man this video wasn't very long um it was just a little topic that i wanted to touch on i also want to point out that i hope they get better with the animations they be stealing animations you know they just be they just be stealing animations from other units and just be pasting them as, as if we wouldn't notice maybe just the same thing with a different angle and that's kind of lazy in my opinion but i guess it is what it is um if they produce animations at the standard of like blue bros or i would say beast gohan has very very one-to-one -one animations with what happened in the movie i know it takes a lot of effort for them to do that and they release a legend limit character every single month but if they're able to do that then at least if they were to continue with tag units i feel like all right cool at least the the unit looks nice you know but in terms of their kit, I feel like it's just copy and paste. And we're just going to get a lot of OP ones going forward. Unless they subtract from them. Like they, it seems like they have with Trunks and Vegeta. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't want any more. I'm not going to lie. Um, anytime soon. I want a, like, at least half a year. Maybe even more than that. Uh, before we get another tag unit. And if we get an ultra tag unit. But man. <laughs> the standard of the Legends PvP man. Is gonna be, whoo, it's going to be. It's going to be tough out there. Appreciate you guys for watching, man. Press that subscribe button, man. We're on this grind to 40,000 subscribers. 35k by the end of the year, hopefully. All my social media links are going to be in the bottom of the screen. This is the YouTube channel where we've got a Twitter, Twitch, Reddit, Instagram, and a Discord link all in the description below. So make sure to check me out on all of those. I put my fingers up too early. Um, again, live stream every single day. So if you see me live, pop into the live stream. They're good places. Uh, good place to ask me anything that you want to ask. But I don't want to long out this video any more than it has, than I have. So appreciate you guys for watching. 
My name is Akashi, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man.